How did you see that one, Soops? Um, yeah, really disappointed first half, Hoops. I think, um, yeah, fr from a physical point of view, they, they beat us to the punch. I think, I think they won you know, just about every contest in that first half. So that was the disappointing thing. Um, from a positive point of view, you know, we could have thrown the towel in at half time and we're down 32 0, but um, I thought the guys showed a fair bit of fight. Um, but albeit, you know, too late. So, yeah, really disappointed the first half because we've been pretty good to start the year, you know. So, didn't see it coming, I've got to say. Because um, they're the Premiers, mate, they put you to the sword, don't they? You know, if you're off a little bit, they, they showed um, how good they are. Is Tommy okay? It was reported in the coverage that he sort of was with the trainer prior to kick off and had ribs and his hip area fairly heavily strapped. Yeah, it's actually his back, his lower back. So he had a, a few spasms there, so he got a needle at half time. Uh, just talking to him, to him then, he was fine in the second half. Um, but um, yeah, he just had some spasms at half time. So I'm not sure um, you know, how that occurred or why, but um, yeah, it certainly wasn't his hammy. Um, but he, he, in there, he's just a little bit sore. He's fine. Uh, look, I, yeah, I, I wasn't actually aware of it until um, you know, until half time. So he's obviously a little um, spasm there in the first half, but he's able to play through the game. And, um, you know, he's disappointed with you know with his individual performance tonight, but um, he wasn't you know wasn't on his own. Since I know that yeah, Yarrick, uh, so you, you lose some of your back line, but at 32, you're down with what probably the most valuable player in the NRL. Is there a temptation to? Play? Um, no, it, there wasn't. Um, we wanted to fight hard, um, but you know the, the medical staff didn't see you know, any real issue. If he, if he was in danger of hurting himself further, then yes, certainly we would have looked after him. But um, yeah, there was no medical advice to, to bring him off the field. Do you know what to do? Like, he's obviously so important in the attack, but you just notice him just not quite being himself out there. Tom's a competitor. He's always going to push through, um, you know. And even to the question about him maybe getting pulled off, he's not going to come off willingly unless he's done. So um, he's just a competitor. Um, and while he might have been a little bit off tonight with um, whatever's popped up, um, it doesn't sound like it's serious. So um, he'll have a he'll have a week to get it right. We've got a big game next week. Have you ever played in a game where you've had I think 19% territory in the first half, 27% of the ball? That's almost unheard of. Just how tough was it in that first? Yeah, that first 40 was um, really tough and we played a really good side and we made it extremely difficult for ourselves. So um, it was the perfect recipe, mate. We didn't show up and they were ready to rock and roll and they, they put us to the sword like Steve said. So um, I thought we were going to be up for this one. This was a great test for us, but it probably showed where we are at and we've got plenty of work to go back go back to the beaches and work on. So it's okay with Mark getting the electric edge, particularly in the first half. Is that something where you can make changes for yeah, sure. Sure, him is a chance for next week. Obviously, um, he he trained the bulk of the session on Wednesday, but he could feel it there. So we just thought we'd make um, a decision for um, you know, I suppose the medium term to, to pull him out. Um, so young Kyle Weeks, you know, um, yeah, he filled the gap there. Then when we lost Ruben, uh, then Carl Lawton, he sort of a little bit all over the place there. So we. Look, we didn't handle adversity well in the first half. Then we, we, we lost two guys. It probably took us half time to get reset and then go again where we sort of were able to fix up that left edge because you're right, we sort of got, got pulled apart there a little bit in that first half. They scored a number of tries down that edge. and um, The good thing was we were able to fix fix it to some degree in the second half. Are you slightly concerned that there have been a few little niggles or is it almost a good thing it's earlier in the year where you can probably take it a little bit uh, safer? Yeah, well, we need to be conservative with, with Shui because they're, they're, they're not big injuries, right? So they're one or two weeks. But if we put him back out there earlier and, you know, he, he hurts it further, it could be a four or five or six-week injury. And then, you know, we're, we've lost him for a long period. But I just spoke to the guys about the season's a marathon, not a sprint, you know. So we've, we've done some, some really positive things the first month. We were way, way off tonight in the first half. Um, so we just thought it was the best decision to um, be a bit more conservative with Shuey um, tonight and hopefully we can get him back on the park next week.
I know it's a marathon, not a sprint, but he gives a short turnaround next week. Yeah. How are Carl and uh, Ruben any chance for the next week? I don't think so. Then Lourdo um, just gave his shoulder um, and Ruben didn't pass his HIA. So, um, yeah, I doubt that they'll be available. So that's disappointing. Well, cool, guys. Thank you. Cheers.